Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. And we're back at the Bracknell Leisure Centre for the 2024 Real London Championship show. And hopefully this show will be just as spectacular as the ones in the previous years. And as you can see, it's all set up. There's lots of people here. The atmosphere is really great. There's a real buzz about the uh, the hall today. Um, and we're sharing the hall with lots of other animals. We're sharing it with um, the mouse club and the gerbils and the hamsters. It's always nice to watch other animals being judged. Uh, the mice were particularly nice to look at. Uh, it's very difficult to see them in their pens, um, as there's a lot of bedding there to keep them uh, safe. But uh, it was nice to watch them being judged, and they were handled uh, really well. Uh, yeah, so not something I, I would particularly um, want to keep myself, but I can see the appeal. And this is what it's all about. The reason that we bring our guinea pigs to the show we want to win a prize. We want to win these lovely rosettes or one of these sparkling cups. This is why we do this. We're looking for that pursuit of perfection and also for people to recognise that the efforts you're putting in are worthy of winning these rosettes. And that best in show rosette is looking very good. There's a very big entry this year and the teddy section seems to have a record entry as well. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see who comes out on top in the teddy show. With Jane Matthews taken ill suddenly, uh, Luke Holmes has stepped in to judge this record entry for them. And we wish Jane all the best in her recovery. One of the amazing things about the Real London show is that you actually get to see all the different breeds in one venue. Um, if you're interested in foxes and tans, you can come over and have a look at those. If you want to buy some guinea pigs, there's the Real London amazing cell section um, where all the cages are vetted prior to going in the pen so you know that they're all fit and healthy and uh, just what you need. And as you would expect, it's such a large show, um, it attracts many of the top exhibitors, but you can't have the top exhibitors here without some of the top judges in the country. And it takes a lot of effort to make a show like this run smoothly. You need lots of book stewards, you need lots of physical stewards to actually bring the cavies to the table for the judges to assess. And without all this, the whole show would come to a stop. So everyone puts a collective effort in, puts in the hours, and helps this show really run like clockwork. This year, I was also judging myself. I was judging for the English Self Cave Club, the Young Stock Show. Um, but I was able to get around and have a look at all the other cavers being judged, especially the pets. I've taken a bit of a keen interest in these uh, recently, um, just to see uh, what's different to uh, purebred showing. Um, you can see Gemma here really getting to grips uh, with a nice coated um, pet there. I don't need to, it's fine. Right, okay, you're good. Okay. okay, English Self uh, Supporting Classes, Real London 2024. In third place, Pen 100, uh, Gold Boar, fantastic colour, super size, just needs that head to fill out a little bit more so, it, so, so the balance between the ears and the head it comes into its own. In third place, second place is the golden uh, adult boar. Um, phenomenal looking pig. Um, not really much else I can say of it. It's practically the carbon copy of the other one. But by far the best pig for us today is the pink eyed cream sow. Um, we both saw this and fell in love with it. The, uh, it's, yeah, it's phenomenal. And as always, I really love going to see the Torton Whites. Um, the patchwork on these uh, is always stunning and uh, I spend a lot of time uh, ogling them. Most major KV events, uh, the breed clubs have nice stands here, lots of information for any potential new members. Um, and I find it interesting sometimes to look at the history of the KVs um, on these stands because history is where we've come from and uh, you can learn a lot. I had a great time watching the hamsters being judged. This is a long-haired hamster. Um, just like in the guinea pigs, you can get different uh, varieties. Um, but this was uh, especially good to see, especially as they're judged on a wire. So the, the judge can move the, the hamster around and assess it from all angles. Um, so it was very good. Many years ago, I kept dwarf Russian hamsters. Um, so I do like to see what's available. Um, Although I have to be very careful not to buy any, um, as I just don't have the space at the moment. Nancy Brooks uh, from America has done a fantastic job putting together the Real London show stand. Um, it's got pictures of all the judges on there, the past presidents, 
and lots of breeds of KV that are on display uh, today. And uh, the effort she puts in is fantastic. These shows are very expensive to run and the Tombola is a great way to raise funds. I was really chuffed to see my new little best friend River um, coming to her first major show showing as a, a juvenile. Um, so hopefully she's done really well and uh, she can tell us all about the results next time. So with all the judging completed, all the rosettes, all the trophies and all of the cards are now on the pens and people can see how they've done throughout the day. So hopefully people are pleased with uh, their experience at Real London this year and uh, they'll come back again for future times. Um, we've had a decent day, we've won a few classes, we've met some friends, it's been great. But now it's time for the best in show judging. Uh, a little while on, and she was supposed to do best in show last year, but again, some of you may or may not know that that was postponed because uh, Tony was taken in. Uh, so it's only fair that she do it now. Uh, when she was doing pick, doing pick, when she was uh, an exhibitor, her long hairs. Our patterns in particular were pretty much unbeatable. So she certainly knows long hair. And she's not too shabby on the left side. So, Nikki, carry on. So Nikki Matthews is judging the best in show. Here she has her top three selves, the adult, the five to eight and the under five. Top three marked and ticked in adult, five to eight and under five, and the top three coated again in adult, five to eight and under five. She'll compare these to the standard and then come up with her best in show lineup. And this is truly an international lineup. There are caves here from Sweden um, and the Netherlands and Denmark, and it's really, really bolstering this to be a real international show. Um, and the quality of the cavers this year are superbly high, so Nick has really got her work cut out for her. And here's a few pictures and images of these cavers from that Best in Show lineup. Um, and we'll soon see uh, who's going to be victorious in the Real London 2024 Championship Show. And the chairman, Peter Gammy, is about to announce the final results of this year's show, so I'll hand you over to him now. In sixth place is the under five Texel from Defying Cavers. In fifth place is the Adult Lemon Beauty from Heal and Davies. In fourth place is the under five South Black from Bronte Cavers. In third place is the adult sexo from Defying Cavers. In second place is the five to pink eye golden from Cain J. And best in show, Little London 2024. All the way from Sweden is the fighter in our pocket from the And that concludes the 2024 Real London Show. And what a fantastic achievement for Jens Lindgren of Malaxis Stud. Come all the way over from Sweden with a fantastic team of KVs and took best in show at this show. And until next time, I'm Guinea Pig Greg. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.